Hi there, it's Alan from Cool Toys. Today we're going to show you guys how to fix a puncture on the rear of the Xiaomi Pro 2. So the first thing you're going to need is some tools. This is not an easy job. Um, if you don't have any tools, you're not mechanically minded, you know, it's the time you buy all these tools, you know, you probably are cheaper taking it to a Halfords or a bike shop or a scooter specialist to do the job. Um, 20, 20, 30 pounds, I think most guys take to do, to do this job. And there's more money probably in the tools if you have to buy everything from scratch. So first of all, you're going to need a few different screwdrivers, little stars, little flats, um, and a set of Allen keys. And also you need some torque bits as well. Um, so I mean, most of the time these things are sold in sets. This is a set of Allen, uh, this is a set of tyre levers I bought, which were sort of marketed for scooters and, and bikes. And they're maybe a wee bit too big, maybe 12 inches, but certainly a bit more length and leverage will help when it comes to actually taking the tyre off the rim, because that's the tricky bit. So for today, I'm just going to show you how to take this apart um, and then on video two, I'm going to show you how to actually get the rim off and fix or change the tube. Um, so let's get straight into it. We've done this all. We've done part of this already because um, there's no point us showing you how to take a screw out. So first things first is start with taking these little grommets out. Now these are just rubber, but there is two types. So then you mix them up, two at the back and one at the front. Always a good idea to have a little tub. There's quite a lot of screws to come out here. When they're in the tub, they're safe. So, safe. Right, so we have got two different screws. So we've got the silver one at the front, which is an Allen key, and then the two at the back are Torx. So you do need the little Torx bit for the black ones. Don't jam an Allen key in, because if you round these screws, then you're in a world of extra pain. So that's the first job. The second job is to take off this cover. Now, for the benefit of you guys, I can show you how it actually comes off. So it sits on here, and there's two locators that locate into these two holes. First and foremost, you have to get the reflector off. So the reflector goes in and under that lip. So, you have to lever it from the right hand side. So, lever it from the right hand side. Now, I'll just show you this. That's how it snaps in. So, in order to get it out, you take your small flat screwdriver in that side and lever it and then it comes out. Once you've got that out you've got two of them to remove. So the two middles are the locators and the two other ones the two cap screws get removed next. Now that gives you access to the nuts. So the big Allen key is to take the wheel off. The two silver stars are to take the, the axle bracket off which sits on the inside. 
that black bit here. You don't have to take that off. You now have to take off this little star. So you need a little star screwdriver for that one. Which comes out of that hole. So take the black one out first. Put it safe in the box. That is effectively the mudguard retaining screw. The axle bolt and the axle um, plate. The, the inner plate. You don't have to take that inner plate off. So like once we've got these off and that off, we can take the mud guard off. Now, most importantly, inside here, you can see that connector. That connector is for your brake light or your smashed brake light on this, on this one. So you can pull this back and lift it a little bit until you've taken that connector out. Now, to get that connector out properly, which I've already done, there are two screws that come up from the bottom. So for that job, I have got an Allen key, a long reach one. So that's coming up from the bottom and taking these two screws out. Now those two screws are the connector mounting bracket screws here now if you want the mud guard right off you need to take them off and then you need to take the connector off the connector squeezes um, and comes out and it's actually a really nice connector because it's a really deep connector that's going to stop there any chances of the water getting in there um, you can get the wheel off by not removing those two screws and that connector just by Taking the two back ones out and sort of having it sitting like that. You can do that. But let's just get it off. Get it out of the way. So. Now. We've taken off the reflector. The reflector cover. The three mounting screws. The screw to hold the mudguard supporting brackets and then we just have to take off the wheel. Now make sure that you've got the right allen key on this, you do not want to round this up. Again this is a very specially made bolt, it has got a washer and a spring washer and it's collared. Now once that's compressed that spring washer stops it from loosening when you're riding and the wheel falling off. So make sure you put that in so it's spring washer, then washer. The washer obviously spreads the load over the aluminium frame. The spring washer keeps it from coming loose with vibrations. Right, so now I've done the other side which is exactly the same. So it's no point showing you how to do that. And at that point, the wheel 